Welcome to East by West Farms. Here we grow what we eat and eat what we grow. Today I'm at the farm and uh, um, we got more rain last week. So you can see that the trench or the ditch I dug to drain the water is completely submerged underwater and that there are lots of water um, under the chicken coop. So I'm going to continue um, digging the trench to direct the water away. I will need to dig a long trench um, to direct the water to another low spot so that uh, um, this uh, in, will not get accumulated over here. And we might get some rain next week as well. Uh, so it's been uh, quite wet. I just dug a small hole here. And uh, that's how much water it get drained. It, it come very fast, just a few minutes and this hole is filled up. So I'm going to just continue walking along the way and direct the water down on the other side. To avoid digging in the water, I basically trying to dig further away from the water. And then um, once I finish the trench, I will break that dam. And then the water will come, hopefully. Well, that's a fat squabble. A chicken would like it. That's how much mud get accumulated 
on the pickaxe. It, the clay is very, very sticky, almost like gum. So I have to stop after a few hack to uh, scrape the clay off because otherwise it will not work very well and it's heavy to swing it. Man, it's just unbelievable. Okay. All right, that's good enough. Over there is the higher ground and so I basically dig the trench come up over here done that way it's flat and I already see some uh, very moist soil over there indicate uh, water accumulation so what I'm going to do is basically connect the trench to that area and uh, so all the water can come around and drain over here I'm almost here. So here you can see there's a, uh, there's an area that is kind of open. So I think I'm going to drain the water down here. Um, so I have about maybe five or six feet to go. And then I can break that dam and get the water over here. I may need to enlarge the trench a little bit. It's easier when it's not underwater. I think that should be working. Um, so we are, I kind of passed that flat area and that's a slope over here. So that should work. I will be able to finish this without cleaning my pickaxe again. Oops. Ah. No luck.
the final step is I will smooth out or uh, tape out the outlet of the trench so that uh, the water can drain freely into here for that this small thing should work pretty well. After I finish the um, trench, so the only thing is I need a break this time. So all I need to see is where the water gets stuck. And then I just clean that out. So the water actually makes digging a little bit easier. The mud is not as sticky as before. So this is the lowest part, so once the water gets flowing, the gravity just push it down the hill. It will, once in a while it will run into an area that I didn't smooth out, and it gets accumulated and overflows and wash it out. I actually got some rapid going over here. So I clean with the trowel to make it go a little bit smooth. So now the water is flowing very nicely and should flow out of. So that's the outlet. Let's see how long it takes it to break the, the last step. This is the end of the trench, and the, the water gets collected down here and drains that away. So you can see that the chicken coop is down there. So I have probably, I don't know, about 30 meters or so, probably. So that's about 100 feet. Um, so that's how I have been walking all day today, is to um, duck this uh, trench to direct the, or to uh, drain the water from under the chicken coop. I am looking at the other side of the chicken coop. You can see that underneath the chicken coop is pretty dry, except one post hole that is still filled up with water. Here we have a small pond. It used to be this is all under water, and now most of the water a strand down to the trench that I dug. I could dig a little bit further to drain this water over here, but I'm pretty tired. 
But I think I just leave it out here because in this case, it doesn't really affect the chicken coop. The main concern is to get the water out of underneath the chicken coop so that the legs doesn't get rot out. I'm pretty happy to see how this worked. If we get more rain, the trench should direct the water out away from the chicken coop and we shouldn't see any more accumulation under the chicken coop anymore. I spent a whole day digging the trench and uh, uh, now I'm pretty tired. That was quite heavy labor work. Um, the, the pickaxe is heavy and uh, the sharpshooter is heavy. Everything is heavy because the mud stuck to it. My boots are heavy. They are probably five pounds heavier than, uh, than in the normal time. Uh, just the mud is just uh, stick to everything. And I had like one inch or two inch of mud stick to my boots. Um, so I'm pretty tired today, but I'm pretty happy to see the water actually get drained pretty well. It was a lake over here. Now seems to be all the water pretty much are in the trench that I dig. So hopefully that will be good enough to keep the chicken coop dry. And uh, I was hoping to finish the chicken coop by March or by middle of March. But um, in February, I pretty much couldn't work on it at all because it's so wet. Um, so uh, we'll see how that goes and uh, we'll get it done and get the chicken in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumb up button. If you have not done so, please follow, hit the subscribe button to follow our journey with the East by West Farms.